Loss distribution approaches, there's some convergence in the industry in terms of the quantitative models on the so-called loss distribution approaches. Um, regulatory guidance, for example, is not prescriptive, saying that a firm has to calculate an LDA or a loss distribution approach, but it seems that that's where the industry has been moving to. Quite simply, an LDA is calculating a frequency distribution on how often an event will occur, and then also calculating a separate severity distribution on if an event occurs, how bad will it be? What would the dollar amount be? Combining the two, it results in an operational risk exposure over a one-year time period and usually calculated by most firms at the 99.9 .9 percentile. Um, the difference in the pr confidence level in the calculation can be significant when we look at economic capital versus regulatory capital. The difference between a 99.9 .9 percentile and a 99.997 can yield a different result. So some firms may use different uh, calculations when they calculate economic versus regulatory capital. Uh, the challenge today with LDAs, with a lot of the quantitative frameworks themselves, are resources. Um, it's difficult to find enough of skilled people who not alone can go out and craft these models, but can also independently validate them and test them. So resources are an issue at many firms. We like to see models obviously validated by independent parties uh, outside the individuals who crafted the model itself. So resources in terms of validation are important. I also think documentation of the models themselves are very important. These models are quite complex in some cases. And with the turnover and quantitative expertise in quantitative areas, it's very important that firms have some continuity in terms of how models were put together, how they were crafted.